Wild crash on Long Island. First responders say it's something they've never witnessed before. A car flipped on its nose up against a tree. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back to the broadcast. The car crashed early this morning in Suffolk County, leaving a teen driver injured and trapped with her car standing vertical. Rescue crews had to use their ingenuity to pull her out. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco has the story, and it's new at 5.30. Desperate screams for help could be heard from the young female driver trapped inside this vehicle near exit 43 of the Southern State Parkway. Nearby Islip Terrace firefighters were first on the scene and couldn't believe what they saw. It looked like it was dropped from an airplane. Uh, it was on its nose with the trunk facing the sky, leaning against a tree, and the only thing holding it up was a dead branch. The rescue crews were in jeopardy themselves, fearing the car could fall on top of them. So they used the equipment on their trucks to stabilize the teetering vehicle. We secured the axle with some heavy chains to the tree behind it, and then we used uh, strapping, tied that off to another tree, and then we used a ladder to keep it from falling forward. The strategy worked as rescuers gingerly stepped around the struggle up car to free the driver. Nine years of doing this, I've never seen anything like it. Um, they, the guys did a phenomenal job. They were able to extricate her fast. The big mystery is how the vehicle ended up on its nose. I would think that she uh, rolled it, slid on the roof, and then hit that tree, and it just the, the momentum just tilted her up. State police identify the driver as 18-year-old Tania Dickerson of Central Islip. They charge Dickerson with unlicensed operation of a vehicle and say Dickerson has. Outstanding arrest warrants. Suffolk police wouldn't comment on what the arrest warrants were for. In Islip Terrace, Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. And that driver, Dickerson, was taken to Southside Hospital in Bayshore to be treated for what's being described as non life threatening injuries.